Hey guys, welcome to African Empire, where we create content that is affordable, quick and easy, and will definitely give you the glow that you're looking for, the glow that is yours, the glow that I know for real, for real, that you are all about, that you like, that you are here for. Yo, so guys, on this video, finally, we are going to be styling my hair. As I promised you guys, remember we did a video, if you haven't seen the video, I'll link it somewhere up here. Remember I did a video telling you guys that I'm going to be preparing that hair piece that we were doing which was the wool for this video. Okay. So I promised you guys that I'll be washing it and here I am showing you guys that I was washing it and actually just cleaning it out in case it might have anything that might be allergic to my scalp or just to clean my hair piece i learned this from the chick natural my favorite youtuber i've always i've always told you guys that on my channel but if you're new here don't forget to subscribe like so finally it's time for me to style and show you guys what kind of style i'll be doing i can't wait so i'm a bit nervous because i haven't been doing this for a long time but i hope i still have the technique and as you guys know i do messy hair what i mean by that is that all my hairstyles are not normally your perfect type of hairstyles because i it's a preference for me i like effortless messy kind of look type of looks if you get what i mean if you get what i'm trying to say so yeah guys on this video there's nothing different we're doing that this is my favorite hairstyle i like this hairstyle is unique here we create african inspired uh, looks so this is me just coming here raw authentic as i can be trying to show you guys my messy hair so under this bonnet there is hair you know so you guys already know my hair if you're new subscribe 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 to so join us here because you don't want to miss any of our future content because here we create affordable looks for you and me so that we can get our looks on the road because we like maintaining ourselves and it shouldn't be a strain right let me start so let's get to it so initially i'm gonna be taking this off now let's get it started oh so basically goodness, here guys i'm with. just combing my edges in and opening my sections as you guys know i'm not a professional when it comes to sectioning okay but let's not laugh about it at least i'm trying <laughs> so here i'm just opening four sections and detangling the hair as usual it's easy for me to braid when the hair is detangled so what i did is detangled each section so this is just me brushing it off and taking the knots out after that it's tying it and then section it into each section making sure that now i start with my blocks simple blocks i was not looking for anything that's gonna take my time this is my wool then I'm, I was like counting eight walls if I'm not mistaken eight strands of wool and then I will just start with the first one to just hold the hair together because my hair is in afro like it's a stubborn like type of hair it's the stubborn one you know so then I started twisting I've been wanting to do twists so these are like your normal twists that you do I'm not going to get into detail much because I did a video that I was going into detail but basically guys I've done so many videos I think you guys know now how we roll if not I will definitely show you guys different angles for you guys to see like the front as I'm showing you guys here and basically I did the same thing throughout so yeah Hope you look Guys, beautiful like I, I did. Let's talk about something else. Done. I'm on here. I'm almost there. It's not as bad. So basically you guys are gonna see the full thing on me. But I'm just almost almost done. So I must say guys that yeah getting yourself is not easy, eh? It's it needs a lot of focus and multitasking, especially if you know what you're also gonna shoot. 
but it's something I enjoy. There was something on my mind as I'm braiding like this. You know, the other day I was talking to my sister about voting and stuff, you know, and she said something to me and it stuck to me, you know, she was like, I was talking to her, I was like, are you excited for the votes, you know, I was just trying to get her views on how, you know, as a young adult, she is, I mean, she's 20, she's turning 20 on Wednesday, so... I was just getting her thoughts on it. You know, she said a very, very like eye, eye raising um, statement. She said, she said to me, what's the use? Because everything right now seems to be systematic in a way that like it's no longer exciting as much to vote, especially for young adults. I think she's also speaking from a space of like you know the support they get they get as students after finishing metric like especially from um getting opportunities and stuff you know not everyone has connections to actually like get the greatest job and stuff i think she was talking from that but i didn't want to dwell but as a young adult when she said that i was just like taken you know to to being like oh man it's very bad because now even the kids are seeing it man like you know it's no longer a thing of the adults only way you can just be like no we will fix the country blah 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 even these young kids can see it now you know so it cannot be hidden that the way things are going especially in the political realm it not, it's not great it's not great like ugh, there must be change man because also for me there was a time where I was demotivated about voting to be honest with you I was like you know what in our political structures most people who are leading there are old people right don't take me wrong but this is my view right this is my personal view don't pin it on anyone and this was just my thoughts going through it i was just like and you'd find that maybe some of them are sabotaging the system knowing that they won't be here for long you know or maybe some of them don't really care because they just are taking care of their own and making sure that everything is good whilst they can make it to be you know and it was such a touching situation especially when i'm i'm a person that likes to speak to young people like younger than me and just get their views on how they are because you know sometimes you 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 can see through their eyes that they don't think there's faith they don't think there's hope they don't have faith rather on this country and i was just like taken by what she said and i was like yeah what you're saying is true because she was like it seems like um whoever you'll vote for they will in a in a way or some form work with the other party that maybe you might be against or not supporting so it's like a systematic thing where at the end of the day you won't buy at a certain store but at the end of the day they all sit in the same boardroom and strategize on how you know so yeah that was on my mind i was just sharing that since we're closer to voting and it's a real thing man it's a real thing and i'm not a big a, a huge political person but i'm an observer of things and i'm a person that i don't like to sugarcoat things especially when they affect me like i can just say for myself and my family for one I don't think we've been so privileged to getting most of the I don't know if it's like privilege is the right word but free things like freebies I remember in my family there's no one who has gotten things like I'm talking about my immediate family now you must remember that of course all of us have that immediate family that you know it's okay this is my immediate and then we've got distant family members and families that uh, you know i'm talking about my immediate like people that i grew around people that were just close to me when i was growing up 
oh man what can i say i always have a lot to say about stuff and i just feel like it comes also with me being a very deep thinker i i think things deep like it's not as easy for me to just brush on things you know that's why sometimes i just believe that it makes sense for my life path to be what it is because the day i found out my life path i realized that yeah it makes sense a lot of things can resonate i can resonate with a lot of things they were saying anyways moving away from that i wanted to talk about the fact that you know when you come from a family like mine where we i know there's a black sheep in the family but i don't know what a family that's not so privileged to getting things easy is called so i wouldn't know but it's 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 just an example of like you know when you're the black sheep of the family like imagine now the family being that to the society or something so that's kind of what i'm trying to say but just grasp what you can grasp you know at this point i'm just venting not venting as much just talking while i'm doing my hair yeah so we've never been privileged to getting like if let's say for instance there's 350 is being given around it has never been easy for us to just get it like normally as everybody else i don't know i at some point i thought i maybe it's in a way bad luck or something but god forbid that we're not bad luck or anything i think there was lessons that needed to be learned because i, I don't think things just happen i think everything happens for a reason I, i'm a firm believer of divine timing alignment and those kind of things so that got me thinking oh Tim, sometimes even those kind of things can discourage a person you know when it comes to things like votes and stuff but i always have an open mind when it comes to being myself about so many things i'm a very open-minded person especially when it comes to life and understanding that now that i'm older nobody has the formula because when i was young i used to think old people um should know how life is like they shouldn't have all the answers you know but now that i'm older myself i'm like crap i get it we, we don't all have the answers you know but i'm just hoping for the best especially for south africa man i'm just i'm just hoping we can get to the other side of what whatever that's happening in the world right now on a positive state especially in terms of like where we can be a country that is not so like understanding about wrong things and making them normal if you know what i mean like for instance it shouldn't be normal that i i'm going at a certain place fairly i might be robbed you know I can't wait for us to also get to a, that level where we just like one of those countries that are like secure you know and in all forms and states and because also I'm a prayer I believe this is the time for everybody to pray as well these elections to just go godly let God take over because right now we need the source because of course we are humans and some people will say yes i'm voting for this party because it has done well for you but not understanding that we need something right now that's going to be um that's going to be beneficial to all of us mutually like you know mutually so i'm not saying i want us to be spoon fed or everything to come easy but i just wish for change in a in a positive way i know this is what obviously everyone will be promising us but i really genuinely wish you know if i were to ask god i'll say god please go in the hearts you know go in the hearts deep down of the leaders that can really lead go in the hearts deep down of the people that can really change and put them on the front line put them pose them to us and if that person is me put me out there like you know i don't know if you guys get the gist but yeah yeah i'm scared but also i'm happy that at least i'm still alive to see this revolution and 
we have a beautiful country man we have a beautiful country so many people envy us so many people wish their countries were like ours and i'm a firm believer of things working out for the better that's how i've always been even with my life like things can be rocky and stuff but i'll still put on my makeup hoping that my day will go better <laughs> i don't know i don't know call me crazy but i think it is in my nature i think we were all born for a reason and i think i'm getting too close i'm getting closer to understanding my reason of living my reason of being alive my reason of being here because there was a time i was reflecting i was like oh gosh you so oh god you're so great like for the fact that i survived so many tragedies and for the fact that you've taught me so much in life at a young age in terms of so many things so we just need to fix that political um state right now that we are also in and our young sisters and siblings and brothers are in as well to just be in a better place and man give people faith again because things need to be fun again to do like we should be fun again we should have that spirit of our forefathers that we need to live in a place where we are comfortably like the only thing we should be worrying about is getting healthy and what's our next ambition or task or goal you know not to be worrying about is there going to be schools five years from now how much are hospitals going to even cost or how clean are they going to be uh, the healthcare centers how well they operate the logistics and we even you know oh man it is that's why you'd find a lot of young people going through mental problems it's not because they are soft but mostly you'd find it's because of these creations that the people will look up to create you know you're creating the stresses and this is my this is my finished look guys this is the whole thing the whole shebang bang i'm so happy i hope you guys are inspired so this is how everything is looking this is not painful at all it's very like low maintenance as you guys saw i just maintained it with some moisturizer and essential oils so guys thank you so much for watching i'll definitely see you guys on my next video i'm actually thinking of doing a video now of styling so let me actually do that and i'll see you guys on my next one bye bye bye